Hey guys, how's it going? My uh, my name is Dr, and I'm gonna be running you through a full playthrough of the most immersive Skyrim experience that you can get with a technically vanilla game. So, when I say technically, I have added a couple of things to the Creation Club. However, the Creation Club does allow you to still learn achievements, so it's still technically a vanilla game. The mods that I have purchased in order to uh, do this in the most immersive way possible are the Adventurer's Backpack, just for a little bit of fun, the camping to uh, help us in the survival mode, which is going to be the fixture of this playthrough. I'm going to be doing the survival mode, um, but a little bit of a unique twist that I'm going to be throwing into that is I'm also going to be playing with no HUD, so that means no stamina bar, no health bar, no magic bar, I can't see any of those things on my screen, I can't see the mini map or the compass, so it's basically, no, I have no crosshair, and I'm going to be using a bow character, so I'm going to have to learn how to aim a bow without a crosshair, so, um, it's going to be hard, oh, and the tundra homestead, so, um, and this was free. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and uh, queue up into what I hope is going to be an incredibly immersive Skyrim experience. Uh, we're going to be using a bowman. Um, I'm actually hoping to use the bound bow spell for a lot of this character's like a sort of uh, roleplay. Um, and uh, I've already decided that I'm going to go ahead and be an Imperial, just a, uh, a common citizen of the world, who has come to Skyrim searching for adventure and glory and riches and uh, all of those things that I guess those heroes in the stories are searching for too. Um, it's going to be pretty chill this uh, this playthrough um, we're just gonna be sort of hanging out and uh, traversing the world of Skyrim so I'm gonna be making this as realistic and as as I guess uh, immersive as possible And, uh, yeah, I'm excited for it. Hey, you, you're finally awake. You were trying to cross the border, right? Walked right into that Imperial ambush, same as us, and that thief over there. Damn you Stormcloaks. Skyrim was fine until you came along. Empire was nice and lazy. If they hadn't been looking for you, you could have stolen that horse and been halfway to Hammerfell. You there, you and me, we shouldn't be here. It's the Stormcloaks the Empire wants. We're all brothers and sisters in binds now, thief. Shut up back there. What's wrong with him, huh? Watch your tongue. You're speaking to Ulfric Stormcloak, the true High King. Ulfric? The Jarl of Windhelm? You're the leader of the Rebellion. But if they captured you... Oh, gods. Where are they taking us? I don't know where we're going. But Sovereign Guard awaits. No, this can't be happening. This isn't happening. Hey, what village are you from, horse thief? Why do you care? A Nord's last thoughts should be of home. Rorikstead. I'm... I'm from Rorikstead. General Talia, sir. The headsman is waiting. Good. Let's get this over with. Oh, that doesn't sure. sound good. Mara, Debella, Kinnereff, Akatosh, Divines, please help me. Look at him. General Tully is the military governor. And it looks like the Dalmor are with him. Damn elves. I bet they had something to do with this. The Dalmor. The Dominators of Skyrim. 
this is Helgen. I used to be sweet on a girl from here. I wonder if Vilod is still making that mead with juniper berries mixed in. Funny. When I was a boy, Imperial walls and towers used to make me feel so safe. So, sort of in order to explain uh, the fact that we will have previous knowledge of this game and sort of location, because I have played through the game before, um, our character has done some prior research into Skyrim before embarking on his adventure. Um, he's read up on the location. He's, uh, he's done his research like a like a good traveler should, but. Got into a bit of bad Let's luck go. with this uh, Imperial Shouldn't ambush. Keep the gods waiting for us. No, wait, we're not rebels. Face your death with some courage, thief. You've got to tell them we weren't with you. This is a mistake. Step towards the block when we call your name. One at a time. <sighs> Empire loves their damn lists. <laughs> Ulfric Stormcloak, Yarl of Windhelm. It has been an honor, Jarl Ulfric. Raylof of Riverwood. Lokir of Rorikstad. No, I'm not a rebel! You can't do this! Halt! You're not gonna kill me! Archers! Um, he's shopping. Anyone else feel like running? No. Wait. You there. Step forward. That horse and that man are awfully close to each other. Oh, he's inside him. Who are you? And the horse is in my screen. Alrighty. So, I'm going to be an Imperial. Uh, however, the character creation screen is going, or the character creation process is going to take a little bit of time. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the video here and just pick up after I've fully designed the character. And we'll just go ahead and continue on with the story there. So, yeah. Alrighty guys, so uh, we're back with the Imperial that I have fully created. Um, I, hope you, I hope you like how it looks. I, um, I got much of, I made a couple of tweets, but I got much of this uh, character's um, look from a channel called Lil Mir. Um, and I'll go ahead and put the link to that in the description. So, thank you for helping me figure out how to make a not horrible looking Skyrim character. And uh, so here we are. I'm gonna go ahead and name our character a, uh, a nickname that uh, that I'm familiar with that was suggested to me for this playthrough <laughs> so it should be interesting you're a long way from the imperial city what are you doing in Skyrim captain what should we do he's not on the list forget the list he goes to the block by your orders captain I'm sorry we'll make sure you remain so return to Cividale Follow the captain, prisoner. Ulfric Stormcloak. Some here in Helgen call you a hero, but a hero doesn't use a power like the voice to murder his king and usurp his throne. You started this war, plunged Skyrim into chaos. And now the Empire is going to put you down, and restore the peace. What was that? It's nothing. Carry on. That did not sound like yes, nothing. Yes, General Tullius. Give them their last rites. As we commend your souls to Aetherius, blessings of the Eight Divines upon you. For the love of Talos, shut up and let's get this over. Learn. Don't be so quick to die, my dude. Come on. Something might happen that could save us all. My ancestors are smiling at me, Imperials. Can 
And you say the same. <laughs> Nasty. You Imperial bastards! Justice! Death to the Stormcloaks! As fearless in death as he was in life. Next, the renegade from Cyrodiil! Ah, uh, me? There it is again. Did you hear that? I said, next prisoner. To the block prisoner. Nice and easy. What? The Jarl's right there. Take him. I'm just a lost Imperial looking for adventure. No, oh, I can see his head. <gasps> this is so gross. What in oh, oblivion shit. is Let's that? Get it. Sentries, what do you see? It's in the cloud! Chance, he knows. Thank you, dragon. He's gone. What is that thing? Oh, maybe not. The maybe this isn't the gods. Legends the gods. don't burn down villages. We need to move now. Up through the tower. Let's go. Let's move it. Let's go. Come on, dude. We just need to move. Oh my God. Oh my. Did he get blinded? Jump through the roof and keep going. What? We'll follow when we can. Yeah. I'm stuck on the beams. Oh no. Hammond, you need to get over here. Now! Bada boy, you're doing great. Toral! I'm hiding with the kid, yo. Fuck that. Still alive, prisoner. Keep close to me if you want to stay that way. You were just about Gunnar, to execute. Gunnar, take care of the boy. I have to find General Tolias and join the defense. God's guide you, Hadbar. Okay. I still want to talk about the fact you were just about to execute me. Stay close to the wall. Quickly, follow me. Oh, fuck. I'm lost. Save yourself. Into the keep, soldier. We're leaving. It's you and me, prisoner. Stay close. Keep your eyes on it. Straight up, you damn traitor. Out of my way. We're escaping, Hathar. You're not stopping us this time. Fine. I hope that dragon takes you all to Sovereign God. Into the keep. All right, let's go. Oh, get out of here. like we're the only ones who made it. That thing was a dragon, no doubt. Just like the children's stories and the legends. The harbingers of the end times. We better get moving. Come here, let me see if I can get those bindings off. Thank you. There you go. You may as well take Gunnar's gear. He won't be needing it anymore. Oh, shit, I am... Gunyar isn't coming back from the dead. Take his armor and anything else on him. I'm sorry, Gunyar. Ah, oh, I feel All bad right. leaving you there. Sorry, I'm indeed. 
Get that armor on, and give that axe a few swings. I'm going to see if I can find some way out of here. Ah, this one's locked. Let's see about that gate. Huh. What about it? Damn. No way to open this from our side. Uh, maybe you could. Right. You chop it. Oh. Come on, it's the Imperials. They cover. Get this gate open. People. Engage. Rayloff. Don't be worried. We can sneak attack them. For mad damage. Sneak attack. Get away. Get out of here. Oh, they're both attacking me. Oh, they're not. Die. Oh fuck. I'm on your side, warrior. I know. Sorry. What are you doing? Watch it. All right. Sorry, I keep hitting you, dude. Alright, so let's go ahead and take a sword. So that we can do a wheel. Unlock that door. And let's go ahead and head on out. Come on, let's get out of here before the dragon brings the whole tower down on our heads. Yeah, good idea, let's move. Damn. Maybe I should turn the brightness up a little bit. Nah, nah, nah. This is probably gonna be dark. I should probably use torch. Oh! Damn, that dragon doesn't give up easy. Damn. Grab everything important and let's move. Dude, Dragon's burning different. everything to the ground. I just need to gather some more potions. Imperial dogs! Storm! Oh, Get them! Ah! That's it! Oh, my God. You don't have to say Imperial dogs, you know. Pretty, pretty. Wow, we got combat. Oh. Damn. A storm. Oh, do a wheel then. See if you can find any potion. It's pretty crazy, to be honest. Alright, I don't think I have bracers, so we'll I think we could them. use that. And I don't think my man has anything I need. Let's take a look around. Ooh, man I'm pushing. Shield pushing. Anything in there? Iron. Close iron. I take that bread because this is survival mode and I know food is worthwhile. Actually, and I should look for food. You know? Like cabbage, yeah, this is all going to be important in this game mode. Look at all this cabbage. Look at all these cabbages. Look at all this cabbage I can make. Man, I can probably have a lot of cabbage too, but I wonder if there's more cabbages in here. Done. Let's get moving. That was a sassy done. Let's go ahead and drop that bucket. Troll's blood. You hear that? Oh shit. Come on. Oh no. It's storm cloaks and gauge. Wow, we wrecked them. Rick with you? No, I haven't seen Iron Mace. Looks like that's an upgrade. Says that Take that. <laughs> and a hood. Wait a second. Looks like there's something in this. Actually, you know, that's kind of gross. I'm gonna be honest. I don't even want to wear a, a hood that a torture is wearing. See if you can get it open with some picks. We might need that gold once we get out. Grab anything. Alright, let's see. 
so I have only really ever played the characters. Useful, uh, let's go. We're not gonna be looking to do that this time around. This time around, we're gonna be going for an enchanting. We're gonna be looking to use the bound bow, but we're also gonna be like out in the wild. We're gonna be like a hunt, like a like um, I'm gonna be using the bound bow because. I'm going to be using the backpack, and I don't want to have a quiver to glitch through it. <laughs> so I'm going to be using the backpack and a bound bow, and we're going to be sort of just adventuring around through Skyrim with our bound bow and our backpack, just sort of exploring the world around in front of us, you know? Seeing what, uh, what, I don't know, what all this has to offer. Orders are to wait until General Tullius arrives. I'm not waiting to be killed by a dragon. We need to pull back. Just give the general some time. Engage. Heck yeah. Give me your bow and arrow. That's what I want right there. Alrighty guys, and now we can really get into the beginning of our build, or at least part of it. I know. Whoa, thank you. Everybody, everybody came and helped out big time. Oh my god, I'm out here not clutching it for my team. Oh, and I missed the shot after a 15 second warm up. Oh, I sucked some booty. I was in the back like a weak little Imperial. And the Nords are up there handling business for me. I'm so sorry everybody. Wow, that is a... Oh, that's not blood. <laughs> okay, I was like, damn. Actually, that's probably how much blood would be there in reality. Yeah, is blood. No, no, no. Let's see where this goes. Heck yes, I agree. Let's explore. Let's explore this dungeon together. <clears throat> Now, better push on. Rest of them will nope. have to find another way out. What? I fell? Oh no, what happened? I fell. Oh. Alright, looks like you're on this way. Let's see, what might be down here? Ooh, a potion. Very cool. Coin pouch. Very cool. Anything here? No. Oh shoot. Alright, cool. That was like a nice little detour. I thought that I was hoed whenever I fell down that pit. Sometimes this game, whenever you're going around through dungeons, go it reminds me of Indiana Jones. Where Indiana way. Jones in that movie, the first one, he takes the skull and then the ball's rolling after him. Sometimes I feel like that in this game. Yeah, so I'm sorry guys if my bow and arrow skills are lacking. It is definitely hard doing this without. There we go. It is definitely hard doing this without a hit marker, I'm gonna be honest. At least in far range. My health is low. Oh, it is low. Alright, let's go ahead and have a potion. Hey, 
don't stab things. Too many eyes. So I wonder if I am afflicted with anything. Now I, we can check that in the active effects. Imperial luck. No. Okay, so we are okay, everybody. We are okay. I know that in survival mode you're going to contract it unless it's going to a bit more. Oh wait, I forgot survival mode doesn't kick in until after the opening portion of the game. So survival mode will fully be active after we complete this little, I guess, introduction. Hold up! There's a bear just ahead. See her? I'd rather not tangle with her right now. Let's try to sneak by. Just take it nice and slow. And watch where you step. Or if you're feeling lucky, you can take this bow. Might take her by surprise. Go ahead. I'll follow your lead and watch your back. Um, I don't think we need to kill her. She's just a bear living out in the wild. What kind of person would I be? There. Gotta have a little bit of respect for the nature. Especially if we're gonna be doing this realistically. Why if if in reality, if we were to if we were to be realistic, close. why in the world would we ever actually attack that bear? <laughs> I mean, honestly, why? <laughs> Alright guys, ponder the question about whether or not you would attack the bear. We have reached the ending of the introduction quest of Skyrim. As soon as we pass through this door, we will be fully immersed in a very real world. So, uh, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, see you next time.